Hey friends, today I'm answering a question from Stephanie and she says her biggest struggle is strumming. I have problems concentrating on my left fingers and finding a rhythm with my right. So Stephanie, you're not alone. It's really difficult in the beginning for our brains and our bodies to join forces and try to do two things at once. And sometimes three things at once, if you're singing and you're playing chords and you're strumming, that's at least three different things that your brain has to figure out how to do. And in the beginning, your brain just can't handle it. It's like, what's going on? This is not happening. So we have to train our brains to get used to it. And how I recommend doing that is slowly, just step by step. So the first step is getting to know your chords really well. So let's pick a really easy song. Let's pick You Are My Sunshine. So I would start like this, just playing through the song, making sure you know all the chords really well. Make sure you're really familiar and really comfortable switching between those chord shapes. Okay, that's the first step. Once you're comfortable with switching between the chords, then we add in a really simple strum. And I always recommend just one down strum per chord or per underlying syllable. That's how I make my chord sheets. I show you exactly where to do a down strum. So let's do it like that this time. And just really simply one down strum per chord. So here we go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Now, once that becomes easy, we can make the strumming pattern a little bit more challenging. So now we're going to do it like this. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Now we're going to do it where we do a down strum on every beat. So if we're counting one, two, three, four, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So let's do it together. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Now when that becomes easy, then you can switch up to a different strumming pattern if you like. There's all kinds of strumming patterns, you can even make up your own, but it's best just to go slowly and be patient with yourself because your right hand or your strumming hand rather needs a lot of time and practice to get used to these motions and to get used to the coordination between the right hand and the left hand. Another tip that I have for you is to just go really slowly. When we learn something new, it's best to go really, really slowly and then speed it up as we become comfortable with it. So let me know if that helps. And if you have any further questions, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.